Parsons, you might as well tell the truth. You were caught red-handed. I want to know why you did it. Some sort of reprisal, was it? Come on, you monster of depravity! Punitive raid, sir. Why, Parsons? Well, sir, he keeps on calling me hellish poem. It gets on my nerves, sir. Yes, I can see that it would. And um, you felt that this punitive raid with the stink bombs would be an appropriate rebuke, did you? Yes, sir. Little bit excessive, don't you feel? Well, he did die the swimming pool red, sir. Is this true, Pinkerton? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I should think you are. I hope you realize that you put the swimming pool out of action for a week and involved the school in a great deal of expense. Didn't think, sir. Well, your father's not going to be very pleased with you, is he, when he has to pay the bill? No, sir. Well, are there any more monstrous crimes going to come to light? Well, dare I ask why you did it? It was just a joke, sir. Well, I'm in the swimming team, sir. He knows I train every morning. Ah, yes, I see. Clear as crystal. So, what's next on the program, hmm? Are you planning to lay mines on the rugger pitch because Pinkerton here plays for the Colts 15? Will that be the plan, Parsons? No, sir. No, it will not! Because this feud is going to stop, isn't it? Yes, sir. Pinkerton. Yes, sir. Because I have no wish to be blown up or gassed as some side effect of your sordid squabbles. Do you follow? Yes, sir. Now listen very closely, Parsons and Pinkerton. You will spend every second of your free time from now on in the lumber room beneath the stage. You will clear it out. You will clean it, sweep it, dust it, paint it and decorate it. And when you are finished, it will be fit to entertain royalty. Do you follow? Yes, yes sir. sir. And if you work like slaves, it should take you about a fortnight. When finally you crawl out of that black hole, Parsons and Pinkerton, you will be tired, dirty, physically exhausted, but morally uplifted. And you will be firm friends. And that's an order. Got it? Yes, sir. Take yourselves out of my sight, you evil little toads. Wonderful life it is, Barnaby, if you don't weaken. Have you ever thought that that cough of yours might have some connection with those cigarettes you keep smoking? No, that is a strikingly original suggestion. You might as well tell the truth. You were caught red-handed. I want to know why you did it. 